Hey folks, I'm Edge with Dr. Pink. Today's topic is a little bit boring, probably sounds a little bit boring, but it is not. It's a basic rock rhythm. What's the topic here? Um, any rock rhythm... <laughs> Any rock rhythm works with the combination of on beat and off beat. So now, before we get started, we need to understand what is on beat and what is off beat. On beat is when you count. I mean, rock is basically always in four, four, four. So one, two, three, four. So on beat will be on the digits, so on the numbers. One, two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, four. So that's basically, I played an A5 here, uh, what happens here. You play on beat. But now comes the trick. Uh, I, I played an A5 here. So let's do A5, G5, and D5. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I switch between A5, G5, and D5. I put them on one and one and on the, se the second bar I play two chords on the f first part I play G5 second part D5 um, yeah the tabs are going to be displayed or can be downloaded in HP Crazy Studios Club so one two three four one two three so that would be and it's very essential you don't see it here my foot is doing tuk 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 so now let's switch on a uh, drum machine I switch on a drum machine this one here so one two three four one two take the beat with your foot two three now play one two three four one two three four one two four one two three very easy yeah, as I said, A5, G5, D5, or any other chords which you like. This example is A5, G5, D5. Now, what most of the players forget is you also need to damp again. So, one, and on two, you damp. One, two, three, four. So, the momentum of the foot has to come. One, two, three, four, and then G5. One, and on two, I damp. One, two, three, four, and four are damp as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The same thing again with this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So. That's playing on beat. What is off beat is when you count one, two, three, four, then you have one and two and th the ones in between is off beat. So one, two, and three, four, one. And you always make a combination between on and off beat. So before, before you can mix them up first, practice the off beat. So I switch on the neck pickups, be cooler. By the way, I'm playing on um, little black star <laughs> one watt tube head <laughs> it's a very cool uh, piece of device uh, yeah it's really cool <laughs> so this time the sound settings are very simple just say uh, uh, tube amp so 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 one one and two and three and four and let's tr try like this you make one and always on the ends you count one and two and now but you make down strokes but the foot is going up one and two see one and when while the foot is going up you make down so because in rock you mostly make down strokes so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four so switch between playing on beat one two three four one and two and three and four and like this do the sexes now with the drum beat so one two three four one and two and three and four and one two three four one and two and three and four yep very simple but it's not so simple as it looks like 
Now, the, the last thing which, um, now you can play both eight notes. So, eight notes will be ta 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 ta. This case A, G, D. So, first fret, thir uh, open string, no, open string, A string, third fret, E string, fifth fret, D string. So, one and two and three and four. So, it will be like this. Just the bass note damped. To damp, you just put your hand back here in a good damping position. Yeah. And the point is, um, even it looks very easy, that you're really cool and uh, some kind of you have a good drive, you need to be very, very steady. Otherwise, it won't be not sound cool. So the exercise would be with the track now. I'm going to switch on the bass now. Um, <coughs> you play eight notes, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that will be the next exercise. That's the way it should sound. Okay. Now comes the trick. When you play the steady eights, as I said, it always works with on and off beats. Let's do it first with the with just with the damped eights. Now, if you want to give more drive into the rhythm guitar, you add anticipations. What are anticipations? That is when you change the chord on the next bar, one and two and three and four and then you change on four and instead of one, one and two and three and four and one. See? And you skip the one, one and two and three and four and one and two. You can skip the one to make the, ex the effect greater or you can just con continue but you change in the anticipation means a half beat before on four end, and when we switch to D on two end instead of three. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And then you give an accent, and that makes effects greater. Yeah, very simple. You can do the same thing with chords. So you play as a should one, two, one, two and three, four and so you make the chord twice, A5. On the one and on the two and on the two you make the stop. One, two and three, four, and then you change the chord again you make anticipations. Four and and two and one, two and three, four and one, two and three. Four. Always count with your foot. That's why I'm not in close up that you see the whole momentum. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four. Let's do this. How much drive you get. Now if you want to make the combination with the with the damped notes, we have in this case you make the chord and then in instantly on the next beats you go to the damped notes and then we have a really cool riff which works on, on beat, off beat. And that's all which is needed and makes the whole thing very cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> the stuff uh, looks very simple, but it is not. Really practice the on offbeat stu stuff, very precise. As I said, especially the those eight notes, they have to be steady like hell. And then you have a really good drive in your rhythm guitar. If they are not completely steady, it just rackles up the whole the whole arrangement of a rock song. So they're very straight, very precise. And also with the chords, and uh, as I said, don't forget, the damping has to be precise too. One, two, and three. See, one, two, over with the foot. Make the rowing boat to exercise, just make... Go with the beat with the whole body, then you know exactly when it's downbeat, when it's upbeat. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, see? And that's basically, the more you have this in your intuition and in your guts, <laughs> then the more cool and the more creative you can be, be with the playing. Yeah, and these are the basics of any rock guitar rhythm or rock pop or a lot of rhythm guitar patterns work with the movement between on and off beat not only in rock but now it's just showed with rock and yeah I mean yeah that's all I wanted to say if you want to have the exercise which I showed uh, as a notation for a download and the backing track they can practice exactly this this is the HP Crazy Students Club join there join there anyway because for free it's very cool there you can also exchange with other students uh, it's a new system I want to pull the community there of my, my students that we have a more precise exchange than like here on YouTube but um, the downloads are only available for premium members but it's really worth because it's very cool material and really helps you to become a better guitar player yeah what more to say that was a really probably boring uh, <laughs> tutorial but this stuff is really basic and if you, you cannot build a house where the, where the fundament is not good and if this this makes everything this being steady being precise also in soloing get the thing on on off beat yeah and that's you can do it with any chords it's just the exercise that i showed here with other exercises but work on the on off beat thing uh, it's very important and very useful dr pink you have something more to say to the community <laughs> Okay, Dr. Pink feels like this is enough basics for today. We're soon going to do some really cool stuff. <laughs> stuff like that will be more convenient for Dr. Pink, but that is really hard stuff. Do the uh, easy stuff first and keep it cool and love what you're doing. Oh.